Okay, well, next up, another talented actor. He's here to talk about his new film, Goat. Let's give it up for actor William DeMeo. Yes. Hey. William, what's up, buddy? How are you? How's it going, man? It's going great. Mic up, yeah, it's here, right. Good to see you. Go. Good to see you. <laughs> I'm really glad that I got to see Artie again. Uh, we haven't seen each other that much since Sopranos. Oh, really? He's, he's a really talented actor and a re what a gentleman he is. Classy he's guy. Yeah. Class act, all the way. To the fullest. Yeah. So you're originally from Brooklyn, right? Yes, yes. And I, and I you know you're in Staten Island when you, the whole audience looks Italian. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> Just like when, where I grew up in Brooklyn in Bensonhurst, it was, you know, years ago it was like that. Half these, probably most of these people, how, how many people in the audience are from Brooklyn? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would figure a little more. Yeah, I know, it's a I would, greasy I would looking think, bunch. You know, I think 75% of Staten Island <laughs> yeah. from Brooklyn, I'm right? Italian, I mean, too. Definitely. Now listen, for people who don't know some of your work, William, why don't you tell everybody some of the TV and films that you were actually involved with in your past acting career? Well, it started with a Bronx Tale. I had a very small part in a Bronx Tale, just a few lines, and that's how my career first started. And from there, I, I started writing, and I produced my first movie, which I played the lead in, called One Deadly Road, mm -hmm. which Frank Adonis yeah directed um, years ago, and then I, I was in Boss of Bosses. I played uh, Carlo Gambino as a kid, and that's with Chas Palminteri. He played Paul Castellano. Right. That was yeah, a great so, movie. Yeah, was, you, that was a good experience. We filmed that in Toronto. And um, analyzed that, of course, which was probably the highlight of my career because I was really in, in a scene with, you know, my idol, Robert De Niro. Yeah. I was in a few scenes with Robert De Niro, which was amazing. Yeah, that was a bit of dynamite. Yeah. Oh, yeah, unbelievable. And uh, Wannabes, my movie Wannabes. That's why I, I, I really noticed your acting a while back when I saw that movie. And uh, really good flick. Thank you very much. Really good flick. I appreciate flick. it, yeah. Vinny Vella? Vinny Vella, yeah. Vinny Vella, <laughs> Joe Bittarelli, Rest of Soul. And, yeah. and, uh, Joe, D Joe D'Anafio. Joe D'Anafio. And, and um, another very good actor who yes. lived in Staten Island, um, Ray Serra. Ray Serra, we away. knew Ray Serra. Yeah, Ray was... Ray. Yeah. No, Ray was a beautiful Ray, guy. Ray played my uncle. Ray Ray was great. I, what a warm gentleman, very good actor. I could too. do was... a good impersonation of Ray. Oh, yeah. When oh, they... will you? What are you doing? Yeah. 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 So he talked. No, he was beautiful, that yeah, guy. Yeah, I mean, we lost a few people in that movie. Yeah, Joe Vitarelli died after that also. Which... That was Jelly, right? Jelly, yeah. Yeah. He was a really good guy. I remember when I, when I auditioned for Analyze That, you know, he was in Analyze This, and he told me, he goes, you know, you're going into Yankee Stadium, kid, knock him dead. <laughs> and, you know, I wanted to no, get He looked like part. a real cool just... guy to get oh, to know. Yeah. I wish I got to know him. Oh, yeah, he was, he was really funny. Yeah, good guy. God rest his soul. Yeah. yeah and then from Wannabes, um, you know, I, I was on The Sopranos for, mm -hmm. you know, like we were talking, and, um, which was a great experience to be on such a great yeah, show that like that. Great. Yeah, yeah. This, and now my, my movie, Goat, which, you know, is coming out pretty soon. Well, I saw the trailer to that. That looks... Fabulous. Uh, I know a couple of the well-known actors that are in there. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Well, um, yeah, Goat is directed by Paul Bergazi, yes. who also directed a movie which I skipped called Searching for Bobby D, which I, you know, produced and played the lead. I saw in. that. Yes. With Carmen Electra, Tyson Beckford, Louis Venaria. Louis Venaria. Yeah. And, and Paul directed. We co-wrote the script, Goat, and it has Armand Asante plays my father, Ice-T, um, is in it, the, the rapper Ja Rule. Uh-huh. See, that's good. You got a lot of names yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Ja Rule, uh, who's in jail now, unfortunately. <laughs> um, Louis Venaria. Yep, Louis Venaria. Um, Was Stevens plays my best friend. Very good actor. He's been in a ton of stuff. Um, and again, Vinny Pastore, like I said, and um, Kathy Moriarty plays my mother. Yeah, you got a lot of heavy hitters yeah, in that. Yeah. I saw the trailer, and I know they did another one. It looks dynamite. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. No, I, I love all those movies. That's yeah. what I grew up with. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very, I'm very excited. I feel, I feel very good about the movie. Now, Sorry. is this being filmed in Brooklyn as well? Because I notice a lot of your work. Yeah, well, you, it, you was filmed, it was filmed. It was well. I like to go back to my neighborhood where, where I grew up and film there. I have shot like three movies there. Um, it was, I'd say about 50% it was shot there, but it was shot in other places also. A lot of locations for an independent film, it's everywhere. It's all over the place. Well, it's nice to film in your own hometown. I mean, oh, yeah. You know I, I love going back there. I mean, Spumoni Gardens. Whenever I go back to Brooklyn, you got to go to Spumoni oh, Gardens. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I was born in Brooklyn, 18th Avenue and 72nd Street. Oh, nice. Yeah, my grandmother know, so... lived two blocks away from there. Yeah, my yeah, grandmother right was right there, too. Yeah. Yeah, my Aunt Tilly, everybody lived in Brooklyn. <laughs> are you, are you from Brooklyn, I was too? born in Brooklyn, too, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I don't remember from where. Well, I, I think <laughs> Staten Island is like 75, I would think 75% of people. In Definitely. Yeah. Back a decade ago, it was more Italian and Irish. Now it's like a new world out here. You got everybody from all over the world that lives in Staten Island. They go to the Italians and the, everyone's moving to Florida or Jersey. Yeah, they're going <laughs> further. And yeah, well, I live in the city. Every it's there's everything. It's just it's you know it's not how like you said when we were younger you grew up that's pretty much all you knew pretty yeah. much Italian Jewish little yeah, Irish that Italian, was pretty Irish much that's Jewish. pretty much that all you knew when you, as a kid in, yeah. in my neighborhood. No, for sure. The city is <laughs> very diverse. Yeah, yeah. Well, you deal with a lot of people. You deal with a lot of athletes. And you got Bronson Arroyo involved in this yeah. film as well? Yeah, Bronson Arroyo, the pitcher from the Reds, used to be on the Red Sox. He's uh, one of the executive producers. Mm -hmm. We own a lounge together in Manhattan that nice. we put together on 14th Street. Yeah, he's a great guy. I've, I've met so many athletes through Bronson, which is great. I have some athletes in the movie. Uh, a guy named Jari Evans, who's a right guard on the Saints. Uh -huh. He's an old pro. He's he's has a little cameo in the movie. Kevin Euclid of the Red Sox. Uh -huh. I know probably people are pissed about that because most people are Yankee fans here. But uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Kevin Euclid, Bronson Arroyo, um, Eduardo Perez. Yeah, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of athletes through him. Well, I noticed you had some other actors in there that, that have been like up and coming independent actors that really haven't got any big breaks that I noticed in there. Uh, any names you want to throw around? Again, Wash Stevens been in a ton of stuff. He plays my best friend, and he's, he was in um, uh, the, the cop movie, um, Brooklyn's Finest, recently. Right, he was in that. Um, yeah, and he was in The Wrestler. He had a really good role with Mickey Rourke in The Wrestler. And um, Lewis, like I said, Lewis Venario. And there's a, an actor that was in my movie Wannabes also. You might know Mario Macaluso. I don't know him. I know the name. Yeah. He's another good actor, um, up-and-coming guy. Yeah, we have a really nice ensemble cast. It was yeah. a lot of fun to shoot that movie. It Hopefully really... that'll be the Paul's ticket. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, f we feel really good about it. And Paul is just, like, we're, he's a tremendous director and actor, and it's, it's, it's great to work with him. He's such an actor's director, and he's, like, right on. And, and, I, and I enjoy working with him very much. I know there's a, there's a story how you guys met. Why don't you t tell me how that happened? We met, we met years ago um, through, um, through Gia, we met uh, at a party and we just became, you know, really good friends and, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he, when I did Wannabes, he came out and supported it and called me and said, we didn't know each other well, but he was like, you know, I really like that movie that you did and, you know, keep me in mind for anything mm -hmm. in the future and then we just hit it off and we're, we're really good friends. Yeah, we had him on the show about a half a year ago, him and uh, Louis Venaria. And, I, and we mentioned your name. I go, yeah, I would love to get William DeMay on that show. He goes, don't worry, you got him. Yeah. If you watch the interview, you see that. But uh, very mellow guy, nice guy. Oh, great guy. And yeah, Vito Bonifaci, he played the lead. He was really good in that. Yeah, I, I went to the premiere. Saw. Yes, yeah. That was good. Yeah, yeah. He's, he, he played a priest. He was yeah, out of his element. Priest. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> that was fun. I, I, I love that. I love that. And I plan on definitely doing other stuff, more stuff like that, you know. Yeah, you got to get out of the box. Yeah, 100%. It's good for you. 100%. Mm. You have any more any scripts in the works right now? Anymore? There's a couple of things for, um, that I'm, I'm looking at now. There's one or two projects that I'm considering and tossing around. I'm, I just did that show Blue Blood. I just did a guest spot right. on uh, Blue Blood with Donnie Wahlberg and Tom Selleck. Nice. Yeah, which was fun also. That's cool. Yeah. Now listen, I heard you. The word is that word is on the streets that you're a big classic car collector. I was yeah. waiting for you to like pull up here in your GTO or yeah, something. Well, yeah, because it looked like rain. But um, yeah, I have a uh, ever since going. And that's all because of Paul Vergese. He's been into all those old cars, mm -hmm. and um, ever since we did Goat, which is you know stands for GTO, I winded up buying a '67 and a '68 GTO oh, nice. with Ghost. And I, I just I go to car shows all the time now. I mean, that's totally what I'm into. The, did you, you build know, it or you bought it like that? I bought, I bought them done, restored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun. I yeah. did that years ago. Uh, yeah. Had a 72 SS Nova and a 69 Camaro. Oh, nice. And then I got my license taken away. Oh, and then, wow. <laughs> and, then my, and I never got it back. Oh. And then my father made me get rid of them. Oh, God. He made a good deal for me to sell them. How much they'd be worth now? No, kid, I, I, mean, I built it from the frame up. It's nice to own a car that actually goes up through the years instead yeah. of it going down. Mm -hmm. Like all the cars that I well, bought in the day, you know. No, so. for sure. And, and Goat is coming out. It'll be in the theaters. I would think probably around February, March, between right. February and April. We don't have a date yet, but it's definitely going to be in the theaters. It'll be in all the big cities, New York, Boston, mm -hmm. Miami, Chicago. It'll, yeah, it's going to be know. pretty Locked good on theatrical Congrats. release. Let so, us know. We definitely yeah. want to be there. Absolutely. You'll, you guys will be there, 100%. Now, why don't you tell everybody in our viewing audience, Facebook, nope. website, 
uh, on Facebook. I, I don't like Facebook. I, I don't yeah, have Facebook. Even people are iffy. <laughs> no, I'm not with Facebook. My, my, I have my personal website, www.williamdemeo.com. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much it. And I have a, a picture car website because I have a lot of classic cars. I, I, I'm around with friends that have like a lot of classic cars, mm -hmm. and we, we're supplying cars to movie sets and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And that's www.exoticpicturecars.com. Right, great. Very cool. Well, best of the luck and everything Thank in the future. You. Come Thank back anytime. So I, I, I enjoy being here. Thank you so much. Everybody, William DeMeo. <laughs> All right.